it is me, Lindsay Malloy, and thanks and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done a plan with me, um, and this is my actual first plan with me on this channel, which I am transitioning transitioning to be my only channel. Um, I had an older one um, that I had all my plan with me's on there, but I am transitioning away from that one. Um, so. If you are coming over from there, welcome. If you are new here, um, also welcome. So I'm excited to um, get started on this plan with me. Excuse my nails, I am not a nail person, but you know, if you are here to watch my nails, um, this, is, this is not the plan with me for you. So I am planning the week of May 7th through the 13th. And these are the week on four pages, basically, um, layout. And these are the printables from Jesenia's printables. Um, I originally have been using in my B6 BoxyFix, um, um, I've been using these the weeklies but on two pages um, mainly because they're undated um, so I they're super easy to um, just jump in and get started so this is actually the first week that I get to plan in this one oops picked up the rest of that with my planner <laughs> so that's the week that I'm going to be planning the kit that I'm using is this beautiful honey, um, like bee, honey bee artwork from Ben's Designs. Um, and I loved this artwork so much. I actually bought this kit from another shop, um, the same artwork. And I believe it was the sticker bloom, the sticker bloom as well. Um, I really liked the way that her kits are set up. So I wanted to get this one, um, but I also wanted to get it Ben's as well because I thought that just some of the accents were different and um, I really enjoyed them. So like the full boxes are a little bit different on here as well. So yeah, I'm going to plan with this kit. Um, so since this is going to be my first week actually planning in this planner, um, you're, this might take a little bit longer than usual just because um, I have never planned on this before. I used to plan solely in my Erin Condren um, and then just moving over from the Erin Condren to this Foxy Fix I'm just in love with being able to have multiple um, inserts in here and just how luxurious it feels. It just, it feels so much more than an Erin Condren. Plus, this fits in my purse. So, um, it's something that I can take with me. Um, if you're wondering, this little charm is from Pigtails and Pockets. Um, I've got a little bee charm on the side, and that one is just something I picked up from Michaels. Um, and then I've got some charms down here that are I made a little bookmark, and these charms are from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have no idea where this bookmark is with this little um, bit of ribbon, but I think it was like a freebie in something. I can't, I really can't remember. Um, so yeah. And this, by the way, is the B6 um, Stella Foxy Fix. So I will go ahead and get started planning. So I start each week with a header. And I think I think I want to start with headers. Either either a header or a glitter header. Sometimes I do the to-do all the way across, but I wonder if I want to do something else instead. I think I might do these glitter headers. So I, I rarely use glitter headers ever, but I think they're absolutely beautiful. So I've got those little headers on there. 
the next thing that I usually do is I take these full boxes or I do a blank or I use little dots but I don't see any like extra dots and things for in this kit so I think I might have to skip that um, so I'm going to do these for my calls and I'm gonna start lighter let's start lighter um, and on Monday I have four calls so I'll use my trusty scissors to cut off only four And then on Tuesday, I have two calls. That was a little crooked, but I'm over it. That might be too crooked, actually. I'm not over it. <laughs> Let's try and... It's better. Okay. All right. Still a little crooked, but whatever. All right. Wednesday is a nuts day. I have one, two, Three, four, five, six. Let's do, let's just do five. I think that one of those calls might be rescheduled. I'm not in love with these scissors. I just got these. They're from Home Depot. Um, I'm just a cheap little Set. So I might actually switch different scissors because this is the first time I've been using them. I'm not in love with them, so I'll just take out my original. Um, these are just Scotch scissors brand, Scrap Scissors. Um, Thursday, I have two calls. Much better. And then Friday I have one, and I'm just going to use the rest of this. I might actually, just in case, put two. Let's see, there's one call that looks like it's missing. All right, well, that's the beginning of my day. I like to put the different calls that I have um, for work. Um, and it kind of feels busier than I'm used to. I'm definitely enjoying the white space planning a lot, a lot, a lot. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how much I love. It kind of seems a little busy. But let's get started with my to-do lists. And I am probably going to alternate to do with little things instead of to do so over and over just to break up some of that color Okay, so I've got all my to-dos done, then I want to add in, 
I've been using um, heart checklists as my little to-do things. I think I'm going to stick along the same color scheme as the um, ombre heart chest checklists and just continue along with that color. And I think what I'm going to do with this kind of layout when I plan is just plan the work week, um, for which for me is Monday through Friday, and then I'll leave the weekend for later. The only thing I don't like about this kit is how wide the little to-dos are. Um, I really like the skinnier ones, but they're still pretty. Um, let's see. I could even just use the dots and just cover up those and leave it pretty simple. Um, cause, just because the ombre heart checklists are pretty... Um, pretty wild already that I don't know that I want to add more wildness on top of it even though these are really beautiful um, date covers which they have lots of um, little floral outlines and just like watercolor splotches and some um, honeycomb outlines and stuff like that they are really pretty but I just think it's gonna be too much conflicting with that um, up at the top. So I think I'm going to skip that. For the bottom, um, I always do put my dinners on the bottom. I think I'm going to stick with the same colors on each day. Which I might even want to color block. If I'm going to do a color block which it seems kind of like what I'm doing. I might even want to do that. Nah. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so let's keep putting these down. All right, on the left side, um, I haven't been using, I didn't have a sidebar in the kind of week on two pages before. So I'm excited to have this back. I think I'm gonna use this pink little one. And then for the header, I'm gonna use of this week. And not sure if I want to cover the May or keep the May. I think I'll just keep the May. Um, 
this the same width as the lines? I think it is. So I need to go exact. On here, I like to put um, just little things about each day, um, just kind of like a little memory or thankful thought kind of spot. Then underneath there, I want to put, we have a tracker and this kit only comes with one. I usually have two. So, might have to supplement. I've got some older habit trackers that I kind of save from freebies or from just older kits and things, which I think this little purple one actually might. This one will work well, actually. And I think this is from a Scribble Prince. It has glossy paper, so it's gonna be the only glossy sticker, but that's okay. So I'm not a huge fan of glossy. Um, so I've got two habit trackers there. Finally, happy. I'm happy to have my habit trackers back again, because um, in that weekly layout, you don't have space um, for a sidebar in there. Um, this little scene right here is absolutely beautiful. I love that little table scene, so I kind of want to use this, the entire thing right there. Um, but for daily, what I like to do is add, I wonder if I should do another color and just so it's not too much of the same you have like an accent almost and then this one can be like pink on these little quarter boxes I like to put um, if I'm going to the gym that day or what kind of workout or activity I'm going to do I've been wanting to Make sure I do that sort of thing. At least some sort of activity, like going, taking my dog on a walk, or um, just doing something, I'm not just sitting. Where do I want to change? Monday through Thursday are usually the days that I'll do some sort of activity kind of thing. So I'm gonna do just the solid colors there because I'm definitely gonna accent those with characters. And then Friday, um, I'll do this cute little bee one. The little bee accent on the end. Um, and then I also on Friday have a doctor's appointment. So I wanna signify that with a half box. I think I'm gonna use either this a darker one maybe um, or just kind of like a splash of all the colors maybe yeah I think that one and it's at noon so I'm gonna put this farther up let's see and then do I have room to put a full box there I don't so I definitely want to keep these together I think I'm gonna keep those together on the weekend because I don't always have a bunch of things that I need to do on the weekends. So I think I'll use these at the top. It's just like some decorations. And then the way that I plan my weekends too is I like to basically use the whole weekend as my, just things aren't, chronological so if I put a list on Saturday it's for Saturday and Sunday it's not just for Saturday um, that's usually how I like to plan because I like to have like um, places that we need to go to run errands or just anything that we want to um, 
stop and do somewhere on the weekend or any to-dos that I want us to finish, things like that. Um, and then most days I just add in some of um, these full boxes, but I cut them down and I really like this one. So I don't want to cut that down with the little pictures on there. Um, but I think this first one I might use on day one. And then what I do here is I just take this, kind of eyeball it on where I want it cut down. That's kind of where. And it's not always perfectly 100% straight, but that's okay. Because sometimes I do cover them up with characters and things like that at the top. Tuesday I think I'll do let's see, something a little bit busier and I can put a full box in there. I don't like to use the quote boxes too often. Usually I'll put those on the sidebar. So the hum of bees is the sound of the garden. Um, not in love with the quote as too much. Um, but, and I'm not actually, I'm actually not a huge fan of the fashion girl things. So I don't think I'll ever use this. Um, I'll probably save this and do like some sort of happy mail sometime in the future. Um, so instead, on, let's do Thursday for this really beautiful one with the teapot and tea. And then Wednesday, I think either the bees. Do I want to use the bees? Or the flowers. Kind of lighten this one up. Yeah, let's lighten this one up. This one needs to be cut down. All right. And then Friday. 11th, I have my doctor's appointment there. I wonder if there's a dot that would be good for that. If not, I think I could find something. I think I'll use this little B, maybe. To signify for my doctor's appointment. Just a little bit of extra deco. And then on the sidebar, I think I want to use this one. And I don't think I want to go all the way down to the bottom. Like so. And then I want to use this planner somehow um, over there on the side. So I think I'll use this guy. Um, and then I like to track the book I'm currently reading. Um, so I think I'm going to add that in with this honeycomb one, pink one, I think this one. Um, I'm just right about there. Gorgeous, I love that little planner, it's so cute. Okay, I'm glad I got to fit that in somewhere uh, on this main spread. And then over here on Friday, I think what I'm gonna do is just add some bits of deco instead of a cut up another full box. Um, and I think what I want to do is have this little tea box and then layer on top this little um, 
Do I like that? I don't know that I like that. Because it doesn't seem like it matches, right? Um, I think I might use this guy somewhere else, actually. Like up here in this don't forget. That will be just a little extra something there. Sorry, that was off screen. I like having the to do and work to do there. I definitely want to try and utilize these lists right here for um, personal to do's and then um, having a place to do my work to do's because I'd like to move away from having to use my bullet journal because right now I use that as a list work to do. Um, so if I don't have to use that, I'm going to try that this week and see if I can fit my to-dos in here. Um, for that, I'm going to want to add some sort of little deco piece right here. That's going to cover that up though, isn't it? So I don't like that. Maybe I'll just put this in the middle. It's like a little charm thing. It's pretty cool. And then I'll put this little honeycomb right here on the next week. Um, I love using weekend banners. This one is pretty cool. It's almost like it, they almost cut it um, little flags, but it's like they didn't finish or something. Um, it doesn't quite go to the ends though. I'm not in love with that. So I don't know that I'm going to use the weekend banner. I'm going to skip that. Then, oh, I love this little honeycomb. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous little piece of, um, um, just like a little extra deco. I think what I'm going to do with this note space, because I don't need, I don't need note space. What I'm going to do is do like a little meal planning section. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to use this dinners header. Oops. On top. And then I want to layer, probably should I just put that there? I think so. Layer that with the B maybe. No, I think what I'm gonna do is layer it with this. No. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe just have a little short list of Happy Meal instead of notes. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to wipe that notes part out though, because I don't need that. And then put Happy Mail. Kind of layered right there and then I want to use this honeycomb somewhere so it's got to happen <laughs> it's got to happen guys um, I really want to use this too but I don't think that I need that full amount of space I'm just gonna pop this guy right there to hold on to it um, so I think I wonder if I want to even just do that. I love using the washi, but I just don't know where I'm gonna use it anymore now that I'm not using an Erin Condren. I might just do the bottom bit, actually. And you know, it might be easier if I cut it on here instead of on my planner. So let's do that. And just what I use is, this is an X-Acto Sizzix X-Acto knife. 
and just got a Westcott um, Westcott little thing. I'm going to cut it right here or on this side yeah I think I want the little like swatch to show so I'm going to cut here all right and I think this will be almost perfect on here I'll just have to cut off a little bit at the end I didn't want to press too hard, but that looks cute. I like that. That's fine. Um, I think I'll miss using these, but I just don't know how I would use them anymore without taking up too much space. Because I definitely like to write in my planner. By the end of the week, my planner is full with writing. So, um, like for example, here's the first week in this. Um, first, in this week on two pages, and it's filled. So, um, I definitely, I definitely uh, do not fear filling it up completely, and I write throughout the week. So, um, on Sunday, I want to mark two of our TV shows, and I'm not loving having a bunch of little things right next to each other. So I think I'm going to put these back actually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a half box. I think I'll use a purple one. No. I'm going to use this little pink honeycomb one that will mark that and then I have some TV once more with love icons um, it says Netflix but there's ones with little TVs on it I'm gonna use her and then mark the two shows that we'll have to watch. We usually don't end up watching them on Monday, but I like to mark that they happened. Um, and so we'll watch Fear the Walking Dead. And Westworld. And I think that's cuter than the little little thing instead. Adds a little bit more and I can use a little character. So looking back at this main page, I think I actually might add these date covers in here. Um, just add a little something something because I think I may change out these headers to this today and add a little bit more of that teal color throughout because I think it would just make it look a little bit more simple. Right now I think there's just too many colors going on. Yeah, and I like the pop of that teal color going out throughout. Um, Mondays, I like to give myself a little bit extra treat. I don't drink coffee all the time, but 
I would like to remind myself to have a little coffee. Um, and then during the week, I'll put in workout and things like that. But always, Friday nights are date night. Um, so I will put that down here. Maybe I'll just layer it like this. Oh, I like that. That's cute. For the happy thought, I'm going to add this little teacup in here. I think I have to move it over just a smidge. Add this B down here at the bottom. And then on the weekend, I am going to put a full checklist. And for the header, um, I don't want to put little things. Actually, I'm just going to toss those because they're not going to they're not going to stick to anything anymore. Um, To do, maybe? Yeah, let's go ahead and just use a to do for our weekend. I might use this space differently. And in this little space here, instead of it saying priorities, I think I might do something else. I'll think of something else, but yeah. And then I think on Sunday, all right, so I did a couple things off camera. Um, I just lettered um, in my doctor's appointment, added the workout sticker, um, added my first, my vitamins um, um, tracker over here, and then I can't decide what I wanna do for my second tracker. I usually do either reading, exercise, or something like a self-care thing, like wash my face really well every day, like go doing the like the whole routine, you know what I mean? From from start to finish with the toner and like all the all the fancy stuff, you know, that's sitting in my bathroom and I don't use all the time. Um so trying to decide what I want to put there, but I'll probably figure that out later. Um just added in a little um deco around the date night, put the little balloon sticker behind there. And then over here, I added in um, this full box, and then this is some of the deco washi that um, I really liked and I wanted to add in there. And what I'll do with these, if there's anything that comes up, I will layer on top of these later in the week with these solid color um, half boxes to go on top. Um, I see probably like this guy on that day or like the pink one on this day, but. Um, I like to keep it pretty open because I do use my planner as a functional item throughout the week. So, um, yeah, I think this is probably as far as I will plan every week. Um, but yeah, so this is the final spread. I really like it. I think it's very springy. Um, and this was my first time using a kit from Ben's Design Co. Um, so I just wanted to go through also really quick what I had left over. And I have quite a few stickers left over, especially because I do white space planning and because this is a lot of space. Like this is, I'm gonna have to start getting kits with, maybe even, I could even get mini kits now. I think because I didn't use some of the things that full deluxe kits usually have. Um, so 
in the kit left over. I have still some of these quarter boxes left over. I have all of the fashion girls left over because I don't want, really like them. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is about having like fashion girls or anything in my planner. I just don't like it. So, um, I have all of those left over and I will probably give those maybe to my mom or something because I'm sure she would like them. Um, then the deco sheet, I pretty much used all of the deco. I just have a couple of these little script texts. Um, I don't use bill do stickers very often. And then the movie marquee, um, I still have left, um, but I don't know that I would use it. And I didn't want to use the weekend manner, so I don't know that I'll be keeping this sheet, but um, I have those left. I'll probably be keeping that one though. Um, on the full boxes, I have one heart checklist left and then the quilt box, which I probably will not be using um, just because I didn't connect really with the quilt much. Um, this one, I have lots of the glitter washi left over, lots of these half boxes, and then these little appointment labels. I'll be keeping those. Those are pretty functional. Um, I really wanted to save these marble um, little washi strips um, to use maybe in another kit because um, I didn't there was not too much marble in here with the marble detail on there there's marble detail just like small marble details throughout there's not like a strong marble feeling so maybe on this page it would have fit more but um, yeah I might even like it could have just toned down like some of these because they're a little bit busy but yeah, I think I'll save those for another spread. I have still lots of dots. Um, most of the icons, I only used one. I actually set up a little house icon on top of a the dark green glitter washi strip and then a three heart checklist. I only used one of those and I just wanted to put on like our top three priorities because we are landscaping our house um, ourselves. So I wanted to um, and we do everything on the weekends, so I wanted to mark down the top three things that we wanted to get done. Um, so I still have quite a few of these little short ones left, and then um, all of those. Those are pretty functional, so I'll be saving those. I have four full ombre heart checklists left, and then some pieces left over, and then another um, full heart checklist. And then a bunch of these labels left and some of the little things that are left over. And that is everything um, that was left over in this kit. There are quite a few um, sheets that come in Ben's Designs Co. kits, which is one of the reasons why I love these. And it was really not that bad of a price. So if you're looking for an inexpensive shop, um, and Ben's Design Co. participates in a lot of those planner sales. Um, so I actually got this at even more of a discount um, by using one of those planner sales. And you can check those out. That you see them online. There's like the Planner Boss Collective or Epic Planner Sale. There's, there's a bunch of different ones. And you can find those all on Instagram. So yeah, I am excited to get started using um, this this week's spread in my planner and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!